Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.10.0.0. We're getting pretty interesting here. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering like what happens when we reach unturned 3.9.9.9 um, and it just goes to 3.10. Whoop de doo. Now we know. But today's update was actually pretty cool. It adds some pretty major features into Unturned, things that are a lot more Steam oriented than rather than than Unturned itself. First off, cloud support has been added. Uh, single player worlds on your different characters are now uploaded to the cloud. So if you swap between different computers or go to your friend's house and play on his computer, your saves will still be there as long as you're signing in on the same Steam account. That's very cool, especially for me, because I swap between computers a lot. I'm actually recording this on a completely separate computer from my uh, main build, and it's also a different microphone. This is an AT2020, whereas normally I record with a Blue Yeti, so if you notice any difference, then that's probably why. Anyway, this makes it a lot easier, especially for Let's Plays, because the save is in the cloud, and I can easily swap between them without having to like keep it on my external hard drive. Additionally, it adds Steam Cosmetics. Now, this is pretty interesting. I haven't actually had any experience with Steam Cosmetics before. This is all new to me, so this is just information that I figured out in the past five minutes or so. From my understanding, he added the ability to upload things to the curated workshop, which I believe is where a person can upload their workshop creation to that, and then the community can vote whether or not they want it to be actually in the game and then it will be in the game. Not just a workshop item, but it will be in the game. So I think for this, I think it's closely tied together with the Steam Cosmetics because uh, right now, I mean, we now, if you go into the clothing, you can individually choose which kind of clothing items you want on your character. So if you don't like the tuxedos, but you like the monocle, you can add the monocle and just keep your normal clothes on, or you can choose to go all out and put the bow tie and all that. Also, golden aviators have been added. Those are freaking sweet. I am so choosing those over the monocle. Sorry, monocle lovers, but I'm just digging the aviators. So you can choose to do that. I prefer to just have the golden aviators in itself, kind of more subtle, but I mean, they look sweet. But I mean, you can see that there's one of one pages and there's tons of different slots here. So obviously there's going to be stuff added in the future. And I'm assuming that that would be community created items that are voted to be added in the game so somebody creates uh, some sort of fancy elaborate hat or something and you can choose it in this menu once it's been added but I, I mean I don't want to get too in depth with this because I'm not entirely sure if that's correct but as of right now we have these items here to select and it also had some changes to uh, the clothing in itself the golden clothing at least for gold members so like if you go into like single player now uh, the gold clothing has absolutely no effect on uh, your armor or on your uh, health or anything like that let me set the uh, time to 100 uh, so I mean if I go into my inventory it behaves as if I'm a completely naked person well I mean I technically have jeans and a black t-shirt on but it's actually behind my gold clothing these um, these articles of clothing actually overwrite essentially whatever you're wearing. So I mean if I click on my pants and my shirt, it will take off my invisible black tee and my invisible uh, work teens. But essentially I will always look like that character with the tuxedo, with that, with all that. And I can choose to put on other pieces of clothes for the storage benefits but not for the looks benefit. If you want to look like a military person, but you have these uh, articles of clothing selected, you're going to have to back out and take them off your character in that little customization menu, and then you'll, you'll be able to see what they look like. So let's say, assuming, all right, I found a black t-shirt and I found some jeans, uh, you can put those clothing items on, and now I have them on, even though it doesn't look any different. Then quit the game, and if I go into the uh, menu here, clothing, and take these off, you can now see that they're under these the, the tuxedo. Kind of see what I'm saying? So that that's the way it's been set up right now. They have no effect on your armor. They have no effect on your storage ability. The only thing they change is the way you look. It, like cosmetics. Steam cosmetics, you know? Anyway, that was pretty much the major thing added in the update. Also, if you go into Workshop, as I said earlier, you can now submit to go into the curated version. Uh, this is all new to me. I'm not really involved in the Steam community, so I'm not really in the know about all this stuff. But as I said earlier, I think it's that whole submission thing where it needs to be approved and like can be added in the game. But I'm not entirely sure, so comment down below if I'm wrong.
pretty much covers all the physical additions. There were a few tweaks, like uh, making the metal barricade structure health a bit higher and your melee damage against barricades and structures lower. Also, the pants icons, as you saw when I put them on, they're a bit smaller now. And then there were tons of different minor fixes and stuff, but if you guys would like to check that out, I will put the full update post in the description down below. I'd be very excited to see what kind of things you guys can add into the curated workshop, um, assuming you can add cosmetic items, and I'm very interested to see what kind of items are going to be filled up in these extra slots. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, but time will only tell. Anyway, that is all I have for now for Unturned 3.10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish, because when you like big, boom. Wow, wow. He's out.